So I picked up a toy mystery box at a thrift store for $25, this huge tote. Let's check it out. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I thought this would be super, super fun. Right on top, we have a Ferrari, a Barbie RC Ferrari, and I have not had a chance to put batteries in it and test it, but I'm hoping that works, and if it does, hopefully I can get like 35, maybe a little more out of it. Um, I'm gonna have to look up comps, but it's super, super cute. It's jam-packed, I mean jam-packed, and there are just tons of toys. We've got some kids, uh, boys, cars. I can uh, lot those up and sell those separately. And we've got a lot of, I think they're 90s, maybe 2000 year Barbies. Uh, just tons of miscellaneous stuff. But I would say the majority is um, Barbie items. I don't know what that is. I think that's a Disney character. Not sure of her name. We're gonna go through all of this. I thought it'd be something a little different. That's the remote control for the car. I really need to get that, get that tested. I think that's Ariel, maybe? I don't know. There's, um, I, I don't know if this, that little blue shell, I don't know if that goes to like, a, what are they called, those little LOL dolls? It's, I don't think it's Polly Pocket. It looks like uh, maybe a toy came inside of it. I get it open. Here we go. That might, uh, I don't know. Does anybody know? I don't know if I can sell that or not. Sometimes the cases, people will buy them. Those were a little pair of handcuffs. Little Barbie uh, toddler. I don't know um, what brand these are. I don't know if they're Fisher Price or Play School, but I'm definitely going to look those up. I like selling stuff like that. Um, I think that's a Cabbage Patch shoe. I can't remember if I find the other one or not. There's um, a lot of clothes. So maybe I'll just lot the Barbies up and sell them with the clothes. Or maybe I'll sell the clothes separately. I haven't quite decided. This is like a crib that converts into a changing table, which is kind of cool. And this is like a little pizza shop. There, I found the pizzas, they're down in here also. So again, that's another item that I'm just gonna have to look up and do a little bit of research on. But I paid $25 for the entire box of pair of scissors, a little suitcase. There is one gem that I find. Actually, there's a couple things, um, but I have to dig a little bit. I actually did find some decent stuff in here. I'll definitely make money and it was fun. Okay, so this light, does anybody know what this little um, traffic light signal type thing goes to? I have no idea, I haven't looked it up. These are pet shop. There's only like three or four in there, but um, I'll just say, hold on to those until I get a bigger lot. And little horse, I don't know if that's like a McDonald's toy or what. This little girl, I'm gonna sell her separate. I looked her up, I can't remember what she is. She's just a bread and butter item, but I think I can definitely sell her separately. Another 90s, I think from the 90s, maybe 2000s Barbie. You guys can probably tell me. I don't know what that little guy is. Just a cute little plush. Another Barbie. I mean, they're not in bad condition. So um, somebody that, maybe not a collector, but somebody that's looking for Barbies for their kids will definitely be interested in these. So, okay, this is a ponytail Barbie vintage. Um, her paint looks decent, her hair looks a mess, but it's because it's not pulled back in a ponytail. I have a Barbie friend and she said that's typically how their hair looks when it's not in a ponytail. So, um, I have that listed on eBay auction style. And uh, right now, <laughs> sorry, I can't get her, can't get her proper, but she is naked. But anyhow, uh, back to the Barbie. Uh, 
what was I saying? Oh, I've got her listed auction style right now. I did have a best offer of 40 on the head, but I'm gonna hold out and just kind of see what happens with the auction um, because I really don't know that much about it. And um, I'm still learning. So I'm just gonna let the auction ride. That was a Ken doll, I believe. Another Barbie. And you can see all of their legs are different. Some of them are jointed, some of them are not. I think the newer ones are jointed. That's like a mermaid Barbie. Maybe I'll sell her separate. I don't know, we'll see. Gotta look up comps. What do you guys think? Worth $25? I think it was worth it for the fun that I'm having looking through it. Here's another Barbie toddler. So I might lot the toddlers up together. There's a lot of Barbies in here. I forgot just how many. Her hair is wild. She's got some bell bottoms on. Uh, missing a head, but that's okay. I thought maybe that one could be old, but it's not because it didn't have a head. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what she does. I twisted that and her arms flipped, but I really don't understand what the point of it is. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on her. Uh, I don't know, is that a Barbie? It doesn't look like a Bratz, it looked like a Barbie, I don't know. So confusing, there's so many different Barbies. I forgot how much was in here. It's probably been like a week since I dug through this. I'm just now getting to do the voiceover. I don't know what that guy is. It might be a McDonald's toy, but McDonald's toys do sell. So if you have not seen my McDonald's, McDonald's, not McDonald's, my Happy Meal Bolo video, go check that out. You'll be surprised what some of them sell for. I think that was a McDonald's toy. Um, more Barbies. We're getting down to um, near the bottom, but there's a few things that I think will do pretty well, and I'm gonna tell you about that as soon as I get to them. Now, was this a home run? Like, oh my gosh, I found this amazing treasure. No, but overall, with some sweat and effort and some tears, I'm gonna get through this. Just kidding, I'm being dramatic. It'll be easy. Um, not easy, but it'll take time, but it won't be hard. You know, I'll just sort it. Sorting's what takes so long and then setting the items up for photos, but I like toys, so it's kind of fun. I mean, it took me, what, 12 minutes, 10, 12 minutes to go through just the box. Okay, so this is Little Tykes, and it's, um, oh, what do you call it? A picnic table, and it has some other things with it that I'm gonna sell as a lot, and I think those will do pretty well. They're vintage, but I'm missing the slide for um, the square piece that I pull out, so you'll see that here shortly. And then this Barbie pink couch. It's a couch and two chairs. I looked up comps on those, and they're going between $25 and $30, and there's a blue um, a refrigerator, and it is stuffed full of like little, um, I guess, Barbie size food and stuff like that, accessories. I don't know what you want to call it. So that's kind of cool. I'll probably sell that separate. I'm going to sell the couch and the um, two love seats separately. And you can see there it's dated on the bottom. That's how I looked it up. And yeah, there's just tons and tons of smalls. Let's call them smalls. It's a great, it's a great bundle. It was fun. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, I think so. I'm definitely going to make some money, so um, definitely worth it. Am I going to have a lot of time in it? Yes. And you know, I always try to think of how much time am I going to have in sorting this, and do I enjoy it? <laughs> because I just finished doing the cat's meow items that I got from a garage sale, and it was a great deal. But I have over a 100 listings of cat's meow items and I didn't really enjoy listing it. So will I make money on those items? Most definitely, but I wanna have fun also, and toys are fun. So I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Do you try to find things that you enjoy listing or is it whatever's gonna bring in the money? And the cat's meow, I, I just, I took two days and I just went for it. And I just listed, listed, listed. And I think that's probably why it was, 
you know, not real fun for me is because I was trying to get it done quickly. And there was a lot of sorting, trying to figure out which items went with which items, which I'll probably have to do that here. And I just picked up a huge lot of Bratz dolls at a garage sale with a bunch of accessories. So it's going to be the same thing, sorting and trying to figure out what goes with what. But again, it's toys, so it should be interesting. And I feel like I learn each time I work with toys and I get a little bit better every time. This looks like a surfer guy. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Checking his butt for a date. So you guys comment below. Do you think I scored? Would you have bought it? What do you think? Here's a little slide that goes with the little tykes. You can see it peeking out there. I definitely, definitely want you guys' feedback. How would you list it? Yeah, see those Barbies. I mean, their hair is not a complete mess or anything like that. I think it should be good. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Put down in the comments what you think is going to do the best. I think the Barbie head is probably the best thing in this lot. I could be wrong. Those little tykes are good. Ooh, a yucky old sucker. <laughs> That's always good. A melted down sucker. All right, you guys. See you real soon. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.